Hi hey guys, it's uh, David here. So there's a question on one of my video about the, the sidebar, if we can do it as a reusable element. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, I'm going to put on the link on the description. Uh, so he's asking, because right now, this sidebar right now is just floating bar on this dashboard page, right? I, what, I think what he's asking is if we can make that as a reusable element and still make the navigation work, right? Because on that video, I did two options where you can do that. You can do custom state or um, parameters. So if you watch the whole video, I demonstrate how you can use custom state and how you can use uh, the parameters. And right now we, we have a parameter here. So if I go, if I go click the product, you'll see that the parameter here, V equals product. We're basically we're changing this. We're navigating it to the same page and we're sending a parameter, which is V equals whatever the tab is like here, uh, dashboard here. Then if we go product, V products, and it's transaction, V transaction, and settings, right? So since we already set this thing up, so it's actually easy to convert this. So basically, you just have to convert this sidebar to reusable and reinsert it here since the, 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 flow, the workflow is already there. It's just navigating to that page and sending these parameters, right? On the products, same thing. So we already have that on the workflow. So what we can do is right click, convert to reusable, and we can do this as side nav. And I can just create this as a reusable element. So now this is a reusable element. So let me, change this to because right now it's fixed let me change it to column and i know that the the width of this is 240 so what i'm going to do with that reusable is i'm just going to make us 240 and make this as 640 for now so we can just see the elements that we have right so now we still have these elements if we check it, it's still there. It's still group as elements. But the thing is, once you convert it to reusable element, this it will default to group, but you want this as a floating group, right? Do a floating group. And I think we're good here. We can take this thing off. Right, so <clears throat> let's let's test, test this. Let me go back to the dashboard, delete this. And now we don't have any workflow here. And now we can go to side nav and insert it. And we can make this as max 240 and just zero out whatever the info thing here. The height, zero out and unclick fit height to content. Let's see if this is going to work. So now, as you can see, this is now the floating group, right? And the tab still works because the workflow is already there. And this stuff right here, it's picking up whatever the condition on the parameters is. For example, the dashboard transaction. The okay? only thing that's changed is this is now a reusable element. Okay, if you guys have any question, uh, let me know. I hope this helped. Thanks.